Longer days are almost here. This weekend, we set our clocks forward one hour as we switch to daylight saving time. But KPBS reporter John Carroll says the switchover comes with a significant downside. It's that time of year again, spring forward, as we move into daylight saving time. A majority of Californians want it to stay that way year-round, as evidenced by the passage of Prop 7 in 2018. That gives the state the authority to make daylight saving time permanent. That's because a lot of us really like having that extra hour of daylight. Problem is, for those who get up early, all of a sudden, they're getting up in the darkness. I study chronobiology, which is the timing of biology. Dr. Emily Manugian is a scientist at the Salk Institute. Chronobiology means what your body is doing and when, and how that relates to the environment. And one of the main things that triggers all those different cues to your body to say what time of day it is, is light. So we lose an hour of sleep once a year. No big deal, right? Wrong. Manugian says shifting rapidly an hour in just a day can lead to a whole host of negative health effects. Increased weight gain and eventually obesity, um, increased cardiac events like heart attacks and strokes, um, increased car accidents even because you're not as coordinated, um, and general moodiness as well. And getting up when it's still dark, it's not just the gloominess factor, it's not good for your circadian rhythm. And your body needs that bright light in the morning to be able to coordinate everything throughout your body. Back to Prop 7, it's been four years now. Why aren't we on permanent daylight saving time? Turns out Congress has to change federal law to allow California to proceed. That doesn't seem to be in the cards for now. So Manugian has some tips to cope with the change. Maybe go to sleep and wake up 30 minutes earlier a day before and then 30 minutes on the actual day of. Or if you have a few more days, maybe 15 minutes each day just so your body's able to catch up with it. Whatever you can do to stay on the sunny side of life. John Carroll, KPBS News.